This is going to be a really quick video on the yellow dust rifts. I'm going to autoplay a couple of teams that I have and I'm just going to comment as um, the, the game plays. So let's go. I'm bringing one of my faster teams. Um, I should preface this by saying that I really hate the yellow dust rifts because I actually have a very high failure rate in doing these battles on auto. The boss definitely hits really strong with her special. Um, I believe it's 20% of the target's HP. So, um, yeah five hits of that and you're dead and it, it's actually less than five because she'll do more damage as the enemy HP reduces and also the the tile damage can be quite strong um, if you're really unlucky and she gets the tiles This is my fast team because I have two AoEs in Finbor and Soliana to help with the first two waves. And you can see that basically um, Najar is here for taunt, but if I didn't have taunt, the yellow star sister would be targeting the weakest purple, which is Finbor, and the purple totems would be targeting the weakest non-purple, which is Soliana. This boss has a really high HP, so what works is to use Dot or something like Assassin's Mark or Snare. So you can see that um, Octavia did around 60k per Assassin's Mark landed and she'll normally cast two Assassin's Marks. So let's just see what she does. Yeah, so she did one again, that was 64k. 220 it's um it's not that good actually my best is one minute 39 with this team but this team actually has a really high chance of dying so um another team that i've brought in the past is something like nika godora zarkon and then keeping the other two and this helps with the survivability a little bit because Nika is going to give the spell shield and the healing. Godora is only at 550, but she is possibly sturdier than Finbor. And she also has some chance to cast Assassin's Mark, so she can still deal a little bit of damage. Okay, so we're gonna hopefully see something interesting now. So 
we just saw um, Godora cast one assassin's mark doing 64k damage and then Octavia following that up with two assassin's marks doing 190k of damage which is um pretty lucky because you know if it doesn't go well this team can die pretty quickly I think Assassin's Mark um, is really underrated. There's Snare now as well. But I've not really been using it that much because I think it was Lucy who had it and then I, I ate Lucy to get Mrs. Claus. Okay, so 239, that's a little bit like a typical time for this so it, it was indeed a little bit slower than um, the previous team but I would never kind of say get to less than two minutes using this team because I just don't have the power to kind of just swipe away the first two waves of mobs now we are going to do something completely different so, um, I think this is what I was going in with. I have, um, Drahos. Sorry, I want him here. I'm very particular about where my heroes go. And I'm gonna put, not him, I'm gonna put Gwyn. I'm going to put her as leader because she's faster. So what's going to happen is Sanko is very weak. He's actually unequipped. But his passive is that when he dies, he's going to grant allies 50 mana. And um, Drahos is going to gain 40 mana when he dies as well. I should actually upgrade his passive so that he... Grant 60, I think it is. Um, but we're just going to forget it for now. So what it's going to do is when Stanko's really weak, he's going to be targeted. He's going to keep dying. Drahos is going to keep resurrecting him. And that's going to charge up the others with mana so that they can fire. So let's go. I got the idea for this tactic from Lantar, who used... Um, the draw horse and Stanko combination to win the Amelia challenge. So we see the first uh, death and revive of Stanko. So this is kind of where it starts to get interesting. Um, every time that Stanko dies, everyone is going to charge. And it's going to be very easy to get a ton of ailments on the enemy.
so we're actually now at full ailments and um, the the attack up and the attack down from Stanko is actually annoying at this point because it's um, blocking the space that should be used to land another two ailments and um, you know with this method it doesn't have to be Zarkon and Soliana it can really be any heroes that uh, give damage over time I do like this method but it can actually fail because for one my draw horse is not strong enough and if the totems manage to kill him that's kind of game over So there we go, um, so like you uh, see here, this was actually the longest battle of all, though it had actually quite a nice win rate. Three minutes is, you know, almost twice as long as um, the, the best time here. And I think, you know, depending if you want to use your auto battles and it's coming towards the end of the day or the reset time it's going to be really challenging to fit um, all of the auto battles in using this last method but you know it, it is actually satisfying to see the heroes charging up and going off every turn so there you have it three different teams to go against the yellow dust yellow star sister with the yellow dust rift and um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time